Hey, Ben. Oh, it sounds so good. Look at, look at this little oh guy. Oh my god. Oh my god, he has glasses, this look fancy hat. I, I, the. Feed him a berry, give him a I'm berry. Trying, I'm trying to feed him a berry. This, this uh, motion control is not, I know what to do already. Uh, let's give him this banana. Uh, ooh. Oh God. Hey, here, Pikachu. What an unfortunate color to choose for your banana. What? Oh. <laughs> Pikachu enjoyed it. I bet he did. High five, buddy. Oh, there I feel we go. bad. All right, let's poke his tail. Careful, he might shock you if you pull it. Oh, we're, we're best buddies now. Okay. Ah. <laughs> this is a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu edition, Ben. Let's go. Let's go. Uh. You put you. Oh God. Oh God! Look out! There's so. Uh, this this dude, is my dude. There's a Gengar behind you. There's a Gengar dude, behind don't me. Look. There, okay. Um. He looks high as shit. What's the one thing you remember from Pokemon? To stay away from tall grass because of Pokemon? Yeah. Not in this game. You know why? You can see him. There's, what? Look, there's a Pidgeotto. This Gengar is my buddy, by the way. So, okay. So we're friends. All right. Oh God, there's a Pidgey. I don't think a Gengar could ever be your friend. What? He, look at look at that smile. He's flying around. Look at that. Mm. He looks like a balloon. All right, dude, I'm just telling you, if you go missing, I know the first place I'm looking. Okay, yeah, uh, Pokemon Road. Kanto uh, Town. It's in between Fuchsia City and okay. Celadon. Okay. Uh, that's my last known location. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, this is a new Pokemon game for the Switch uh, that kinda, uh, kinda combines some features from uh, Pokemon Go, the yeah. mobile game. But man, uh, I, I gotta say right off the bat, the last Pokemon mainline Pokemon game I played was probably Diamond and Pearl. Okay. Um, so some of the uh, new implementations may have been uh, put in since uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or oh, XY, right. Black and White. Yeah, I, just, I played Black. Yeah. And it seems like so long ago. Right. And, and so I've, as far as my understanding, some of the stuff that's in this game has been introduced earlier games, but hey, here's where we're at, and you can fucking see Pokemon in the grass now. Holy shit. You can choose you when to have this stuff. walked up to that Dotrio. So, uh, I'm playing with the Pokemon Pokeball. Um, You're holding a Pokeball. I'm holding a Pokeball. Right I wish we had set up a camera, but that's fine. Um, and this is one of the major differences in this game, is how catching works. Yeah, you're not battling, huh? We're not battling. Uh, so you can see the Dodrio's right there, you can see it's level, CP is combat points. Um, and yeah, we don't have to battle it to try and weaken it. We'll just try and throw balls. Okay. Uh, so we'll ready up. Uh, all right. And then uh, I'll try and throw it. Nice. nice. And that's how the catching mechanics work. And, you know, it just pops out. That's fine. We almost got it. Did you uh, press A really fast when it lit up? I See, I was under the understanding that you're supposed to press B oh. to make sure to time that with the button presses. See, we always, word in our hood was you mashed the A button while uh -huh. it was blinking, uh -huh. but then if it was a solid color, you had to stop mashing. Ah, <sighs> man. See, who? where did you even learn that? Was it just like Urban just Legend like stuff? Just a kid. Yeah. So like probably an older kid. What a jerk. Well, anyway, so, since you no longer have to weaken a Pokemon, the, the only way to uh, affect your chances of getting them is uh, through the use of berries or uh, higher strength Pokeballs. Right. We have a regular OG Pokeball right there. We've got a great ball over there. Uh, using some Ultra Balls because a little bit of a higher level area we're in right now. And uh, these berries will uh, are actually from Pokemon Go and will affect how uh, your catching goes. So like in the nab berry, this will make sure that the Pokemon isn't as erratic. Okay. And we'll give that to uh, this Dodrio. Oh yeah, that circle's closed but faster. Yep. He looks less pissed. Um, you played Pokemon Go, right? You I did. your toes? Oh yeah. Yeah, so you recognize that closing circle. Mm -hmm. um, oh, cool, we got Nice. So, that Battling and catching random Pokemon was one of the uh, ways you would gain experience. Catching Pokemon is how you gain experience uh, for all your party of six. Here. Okay. Um, so is there go ahead. is there no battling in this game? There is there is battling. Okay. There is battling. Uh, it's just with wild Pokemon. This is how the catching works. Gotcha. But like, there's still gym leaders. There's still gym leaders. Okay. There's still random trainers to come across. We may actually see a couple here. And it is like a Pokemon battle. 
It is like from a the games. Yeah, it's okay. like a traditional Pokemon battle, uh, straight out of your memories from playing Pokemon Yellow, the first gen. Mm-hmm. Um, and oh, yes. Can you go to the Safari Zone? We're we're gonna go to the Safari. Hell zone. yeah! Well, I, you know, it's actually called something else here. Okay. But, but anyway, uh, so your XP that you'll gain from uh, catching is affected by, like, hey, you did a nice throw, you did a successful catch, maybe it's your first catch, um, and then from Aside from getting experience, you'll gain some uh, some items down there. You gain a pinup bear, pinup berry, and uh, some candy. Yeah, candy is a big thing in this game. And look, we got a party of six over How here. You got an Alakazam. Hell yeah! It's I know favorite. when I asked you during our mic check that you liked Alakazam, you'd be happy with this. This party. honestly, this party like a th- half of it includes my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, Alakazam, Charizard, and then I mean Hauntar, but that's that's just uh, Gengar's just fat Hauntar. Yeah, he, he grew legs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah. yeah uh, you break down. All right, so uh, since we already have six in our... Oh, God. It scares me all the time. Look, it's Whoa, a fucking it's a Rapidash. Rapidash. Should we... You want, should, we, should we catch it? Yeah. Let's catch it. Might as well. Um, so your party's com- com- comprised of six Pokemon, uh, and any Pokemon you catch... Aside from that, six gets sent to your Pokemon storage box. Right, or with Bill. Or with Bill, or with Professor Oak. Uh, but in this game, after we catch this Rapidash, let's, let's feed him some, some berries. Uh, you can see the berries have different status effects. All right. And you didn't have to aim that berry, that just went in. I did not have to aim the berry, yeah. Uh, I should have aimed that Pokeball better. I should say, I'm used to playing this on the hit. Ooh, Ooh, excellent! You don't have to say anything. Yeah, I was, I'm gonna <laughs> shut up now. God what? damn it. So in my experience, throwing a nice, great, or excellent throw doesn't affect uh, your, the catch rate. Oh, it's but it will. Experience. Yeah, your experience. Um, so if you do just want to throw, throw Pokeballs and whiff them, or land them, you're good. You know, I don't remember ever encountering a random Rapidash in, no. like, the first gen. Yeah, I mean, a lot of those higher evolutions, dude, man, you're gonna have to give him another berry or something. Let's give him another berry. Uh, you're flush with cash. I am. I'm pretty ballin' right now. Um, Pokeballa. Oh, is- yeah, he's happy now. All right, yellow circle, let's go. And, you know, I... I didn't like Rapidash anyway. No, we didn't. It was just you wanted to show off what it looks like when you don't catch a Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's dip into our options. Uh, What's up with that Raticate? Why is he so freaked out? Oh, that Raticate up there? I'll explain in just a second. Okay, sure. So we can go into our bag here and uh, get the usual options of medicine. So it'll be your potions, TMs, will be uh, the technical moves you can teach to your Pokemon, Uh, power up pocket, power up. Like uh, evolution stones, mm-hmm. battle pocket. Uh, these will. Oh, yep. Yep. These, these. If you it's got those Pokemon, Pokemon items. Yep. Catching, Pokeballs, berries, clothing trunk. We'll get to that in a sec. Uh, candy jar. Um, when you trade in Pokemon, which we'll get to in just a sec, um, you will uh, gain candy from them, and that you can use those candy to affect different stats like speed, power, special attack, etc. Um, so let's. Uh, what was I? What was, it, what was I doing here? I didn't. I didn't just want to show off my Pokemon. You want to do something with candy? Yes. Okay. So we caught a. We caught this. The Drio. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's let's trade away this person. So let's send away this Ponyta. Uh, yeah. I will say playing. Playing with this Pokeball, it technically only has two buttons. It's a little cumbersome sometimes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we traded away that Ponyta. We got a quick candy away from that. Uh, whatever you trade away, you can give to uh, uh, Professor Oak. Get some candy. I remember what we came in here for. So this is all our Pokemon. Yes. This is everything we have. So right. we can change our party at any time that we want. You got a Mew? I. For buying the uh, bundle that comes with the Pokeball, you automatically get a Mew. Just give any fucker a Mew. These... No, okay, no offense. Hey, hey, are you? I know you've earned Mews in the past. I have. But 
I mean, I've been down in the trenches. Like, you, you bought a Mew. You shouldn't be able to buy a Mew. For that, I agree. Okay. All right. Jan, I need you to release it to the wild. <laughs> on a moral, no, I'm not on, a moral on a moral uh, ground. I'll you release anything to else to the wild. This this Psyduck, I'll release to the wild, but not this <laughs> Mew. I worked hard for this Mew. Mm -mm. I worked actual hours to get my paid to buy this Mew. Anyway, um, so yeah, that in itself is a huge game changer to be able to change your party at any time. Yeah. So say you're like, ah, oh, fuck, this uh, Alakazam is not working out for this gym or this root where I'm going against uh, some trainers. Fuck it, let's throw in an Onyx. Right. And that's just all off the cuff, and that's a huge fucking uh, quality of life change. Uh, and clothing, yeah, we, we, we tease this clothing trunk. So uh, in the two versions of the game, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee, you have a partner Pokemon um, that is with you the whole time. Mm. You, can, you can take it out of your party, uh, but you can dress it up, it's your little friend. You saw in the beginning of the video. Dude, what the fuck are you wearing? I I had to infiltrate their base. I don't rep Team Rocket. It looks like you are to me. All right, all right. We'll we'll change this just for you, Ben. Okay. Uh, let's, let's wear a safari cap. Now you're really styling. That's that's what they tell me. All right. Are the shorts okay with you? The shorts and shoes are technically Team Rocket shoes. Are they? Yeah. Are those okay? Yeah, that's all right. Um. But yeah, so you can uh, you get clothes in this game not only for your trainer but also for your little buddy. Let's uh, let's match with Pikachu. Let's, uh, oh my god, I want to see the sailor cap. Oh, you want to? Okay. I want to see what that looks like. All right, you got a formal hat that I was just wearing. Here's a sailor hat. Can it's you spin not, him around? Is that no? Can't, you've got one stick. Around. That's that's not what a sailor cap is in my mind. It's like a white little squared circle kind like, of thing. Yeah, almost even a Donald Duck type hat. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you know, let's match with our little buddy. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you got the normal items that you'd have in a regular fucking blue, red, green, yellow Pokemon game. Um, Let's go get. I want to see a battle. You want to see a battle? If you're close. I I'm know. totally close. It's not like I planned out where to go. Uh, that would be too professional. Yeah. So uh, just. This is pretty much a fucking dope ass remaster of Yellow because everything that I remember as like a 10, 12 year old. Did you um, find the kid who says, I, uh, I like shorts, they're comfy and easy to wear? Yep. Okay. And, and then I admired his shorts in uh, oh, yeah. this, th you know, this fully rendered 3D shit. This battle theme's kicking, it's right? It's really good. All right, Beauty Samantha. And yeah, battles work just like how you remember them. Uh, and it's kind of fucking awesome to see your Pokemon just fully rendered out like this. Yeah, this reminds me of the first time I ever saw Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, exactly. Oh, dude, these dynamic cameras. It's this, fucking awesome. This looks really good. Uh, so if you're unfamiliar with how Pokemon works, uh, you have an option to fight, uh, switch your Pokemon, or use an item for healing purposes or other restorative things. Uh, but let's fucking battle. Uh, the type advantages here aren't ne necessarily crucial in this battle, but let's just fucking, let's side beam this dude. Yeah. Psybeam, Psychic, two just baller moves. Oh yeah. It turns out it was super effective. I didn't know Psychic was effective against Grass. Oh yeah. Uh, and yeah, so each Pokemon will, there, will have their different types. Um, something they've impl- Wow, we got 2,000 bucks Damn, she only this. brought one Pokemon? Uh, you know, you, you step to the king. You something. Pokeballs. I like that it gives you those Pokeballs out there. Just gives yep. you that resource that you need around you. Totally. Um, so yeah, there are type advantages for all the Pokemon. Something they've implemented is that uh, the original 150 Pokemon will now have two types. For instance, Charizard's not only a fire Pokemon, but he's also a uh, flying Pokemon. Right. Which kind of doesn't make sense to me that he's not a dragon mm. type, because out of all the OG 150, he looks the most like a dragon. Yeah. I guess, you know, it's a balance thing probably because Dragon's one of those rare types. Sure, sure. And then you could just, you you could get Charizard from the very start of the game. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, let's go back here. So out of our six, you can take any of them out of the ball. Um, playing with this Pokeball, I'm actually not sure how to take them out of the ball. Uh, maybe if I, you know what, let's, let's, I need to play with a regular control. <laughs> 
Yeah. And you've got one of those. I do. I'm very <coughs> cool. Cool. Alright. Confirm. I don't have one of those. Jan, you're not wearing the strap. Uh, don't report me, please. I'm getting Nintendo on the line. No, 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 no. Don't call Officer Jenny. Um, so you can take any of these po uh, Pokemon out of the ball at any time. And uh, let's say, let's, uh, let's take this Charizard out. Hey, Reggie? Yeah, it's Ben. No, Ben, No, Ben Pack. Up. No! No, the other Ben Pack. <sighs> no, he's, he's pretending he doesn't know who I am. Classic Reggie. Uh, so you can take all of, any of your Pokemon out of your party, out of their ball, and fucking ride some of them. Um. Yep. Look at this. Fuck a bice. Bicycle. You, there's actually no bikes in this game because you have the ability to ride a Pokemon. Yeah, and it costs like a million dollars, so you yeah. don't even need it. Unless you got the bike voucher. Look, I don't even have to hide around any of these people. I'm just soaring. Look at this. Dude. Um, this is fucked up. <laughs> you can't ride all your Pokemon. Uh, you can't. Unfortunately, you can't ride a Venusaur. Can you ride Gengar? No, he just floats behind you like a weird balloon. Um, what is uh, interesting about this game, though, is that they have Alolan versions of the 150. Like, look, that's an Alolan Marowak. Oh. He looks like he likes death metal. Yeah. Or shops at Hot Topic. I mean, I feel like M M uh, Marowak and Cubone own their emoness by the fact that they just wear their mother's skulls around every day. You're right. That's 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 past emo. That's. Pretty fucking metal. Yeah. Uh, let's, what do you say about another battle? Sure. All right. Hello. Get the shit out of that executor. Uh, excuse me. I'm ten years old. But no, yeah, she's looking for a cute-looking guy. Oh, okay. I thought she was propositioning, Propos hitting on me. It's Ace yeah, trainer Maria. Ace trainer. Oh man, she's got three Pokemon. She came prepared. You know, so what's also neat about this is whenever you enter a battle. The arena around you will kind of reflect what oh yeah uh, biome you're around. Sure. So if you're in a uh, like a specific gym, it'll be that actual gym. Um, let's burn this tree down. I will always have a special place in my heart for Executor because my first ever run at the Elite Four uh -huh. ended with me only having Executor left with struggle. Oh God! Like it got it was a. It sounds like a struggle. Yes. All those, those five battles were a struggle to the very end, <laughs> but he closed it out, and so he will be in my personal Pokemon Hall of Fame forever. Dude, your Charizard oh just got wrecked. Yeah, my, my Charizard is not the best. Uh, what else is effective against grass? Ground? Uh, yeah. No, is that... Grass is effective against ground. Yes, I was thinking of something else. Let's go with Gengar. Gengar is a ghost. Yeah. Uh, Executor is Psych psychic okay. and grass. Isn't psychic really good against ghost? Ugh. Well, we'll try this out. Let's see. Uh, Shadow Ball. So it's neat. Uh, the moves are denoted with like a little graphic around them of like, hey, this is the type it, it's, it is, whether it's like a ghost, normal, dark, etc. Right. Wow, we got a lot of XP from that. Hell yeah. Um, all right, all right. So XP is shared with your party, um, whether it's in battle or catching Pokemon. Ooh, sending out a Ninetales. Mm, let's ground. You know, my, my Rhydon is really underleveled for this area, but Marowak, yeah. shoot, I think Marowak knows a ground move. There you go. Look at this guy. Bone Meringue, this dude's, this dude's sick. Hey, you might know the answer to this question. I do. Uh, has Nintendo, or Game Freak, or what have you, ever officially acknowledged missing O outside of that red blue? You know, I, I was hoping that missing O would be in this game. Yeah. And they just like pretty much just go with the same bug and like let it happen, but. I mean, they don't even have to up res him, no. just have the same sprite from that first game. Yeah. It's not very effective, Ninetales. Oh man, this looks so good. It's this. It, it brings a smile to my face because I'm used to just seeing a sprite just shake, yep. and then like a certain sound effect uh, to denote a move. But 
Look at that. All right. I think take care of that in this move. Get fucked. So this, if you've played blue, red, green, or yellow, you'll be familiar with, uh, I guess, like the layout or structure of how you should proceed through this game. Right. Um, uh, one one big thing that you mentioned on the bombcast that I was personally excited about was the removal of HMs. Yes. Apparently, that is something they implemented in uh, some of the 3DS versions of Pokemon. Oh, like in uh, the Heart Gold makes? or Soul Heart Silver. Gold, Soul Silver. Uh, what's good against water? Uh, Bone? Ground? You know, we have a Pikachu. We don't. We shouldn't be having yeah. this. What the fuck? What are we doing? So, uh, with your partner Pokemon, whether you get an Eevee or the Pikachu edition, there will be this uh, NPC in certain towns that'll teach your uh, partner Pokemon. Ah, man, look at that guy. Uh, a special attack that's exclusive to uh, your version of the game. Yeah, I was about to say, I've never seen Zippy Zap before. So, Zippy Zap, check this shit out, Ben. Damn. Fucked up that Starmie. Yeah. You're gonna crack its gem. Hell yeah. Oh, that was a sad episode. That was a sad episode. It's like season one of Pokemon. It, it, can, it got dark. Remember the Butterfree episode? Oh man, don't remind me. Don't remind me of that. Uh, okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, I took out this battle. So, yes. If there's no random battles, mm -hmm. how do you level up your Pokemon? Just by catching them or fighting okay. against random trainers. Um, I found that gaining XP, uh, as soon as you get to like higher level areas, like one that we're in, it isn't that hard sure. to do so. Um, since there are no more random encounters and you can kind of pick and choose or wait around for a specific Pokemon, there are there is something called, God damn it. There's something called catch counters. So say we caught this Psyduck, and then we kept catching Psyducks. Um, we'd start building up a catch combo. So on top of uh, increasing the XP we'd gain, we'd also be increasing the likelihood of a shiny version of that Pokemon to pop up. Um, but the odds are still fucking insane to try and get a shiny Pokemon. What yeah. the fuck? Um, but also, Having a high catch combo increases the likelihood of getting rarer or stronger type Pokemon. Right, higher level maybe. Yep. Uh, so you saw how there was like one that was glowing red that he just turned or just used KO Ken or what? Uh, yes. Fucking Do Duo. Uh, those will be stronger Pokemon. You saw one with kind of like a blue aura. That'll be a smaller, weaker version of said Pokemon. Okay. Uh, I'd say like this this version of like uh, Let's Go is. Pretty fucking user friendly if you're trying to introduce someone into the basics of yeah. the mainline po Pokemon games. Um, a lot of people, including myself, were kind of like poo pooing on this game because, like, oh, it's not going to be serious. Oh, I can't take my battles. I, there's no competitive play. But uh, I haven't seen how the competitive side of this game will play out just yet. But this game still has IVs and EV training. Sure. Uh, and this it seems to have that framework that is important for 99% of Pokemon players. Exactly. Uh, and this game just lays it out much easier. You'll find an NPC later that'll fucking just enable your Pokedex to show you the IVs. Uh, you'll be able to judge your Pokemon. So like, hey, this Alakazam, he has good stats. Um, Rhyhorn has okay ones. This Pikachu though. Of course. Amazing. Um, hey, can you evolve your Pikachu? So your partner Pokemon, whether it's a Pikachu or Eevee, you can't evolve them. You can't evolve an Eevee? Isn't that the whole point of Eevee? Uh, but they get around that in that uh, in the Eevee version of the game, you can teach your Eevee uh, elemental attacks to reflect its Not the evolutions. Same, man. It's 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 just as dope. Uh, so let's. But it doesn't look like a cool mermaid or or spiky. You Electric can catch boy. more Eevee in the game to do that. Right. Also, a Vaporeon couldn't sit on your head or shoulder. It's too sure big. Sure it could. Are you kidding me? A Vaporeon around your shoulders? Look at like the size a cool of... snake. 
Okay, real quick, let's look at some the, the size and scale of some of this shit. All right, that Marowak, that Marowak's pretty big. That that Gengar we had in the beginning, Show me the pretty big. Oh, Rhyhorn. Okay. What's the biggest Pokemon you have? Onyx. I see him. Okay. Uh, all right, we're Onyx. Or I guess a Gyarados, but we're on land. Um, let's put him in my party. Let's take out mm, Rhyhorn for now. Oh no, let's take him out. All right, and as soon as we have enough space, look at oh, that. Oh, baby. Look at that scaling. Oh. And like, this part just like puts a, the dumbest smile on my face. If you rolled up to a gym like that, they should just give you the badge. Exactly, like look how small that like Omastar is over there. <laughs> Despite the type advantage, I feel like I could just eat him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's ride our Onyx. It's a tight corner, so Onyx wouldn't fit. Sure. Um, let's heal up our party, and what do you say we try and take on a gym? Oh, yeah. All right. If I fail miserably, um... You won't. I won't. Thank you. It's it's probably because I took off my Team Rocket shirt. No, if you succeed, it's because you took off your Team Rocket shirt. Okay. All right. Team Rocket is a famous, successful team that always wins. I feel like everyone else in Team Rocket is successful, despite uh, Jesse and James. I don't know, Giovanni got fucked up. That's true. Giovanni, also in this game, um, not your father because your character is not uh, red or ash. But you do run into Blue, who is Gary in the cartoon. Okay. Yeah. So what, did, what did you name your rival? Failure, because that's what I'm most scared of. Uh, Let's see. So we're going to go against. That would be hot soup. Hmm. You know, I've never seen you eat hot soup. It's too hot. I know. Okay, Make, makes a lot of sense now. So is this is this, is this Koga? Where? This what is town Koga. are you? Koga. We're in Fuchsia okay. City. Yeah. Uh, Koga is a uh, poison. Poison. Uh, mm. So psychic ghosts. Fire is good against. Uh, yeah, there's some poison bugs for sure. Some poison bugs. What's uh, good against bug? Dra wanna, dragon. Is it? Hold I'll, on, I got you. All right. I, I my my lady friend is also playing this game, and I've printed out a chart for her to to reference because she uh, didn't play these games growing up. Let's let's throw a rapid dash in there. Yeah. Let's I've, sub out I mean, Onyx. It's kind of a bummer because you didn't beat that run rapid dash. It wasn't meant to be. I so didn't have like a compelling story with that rapid. You're dash. kind of cursing yourself on this one. All right, here we go. This is assuming this goes by Go rules. Okay. Uh, poison, weak against poison, ground, rock, ghost, steel. Steel, huh? And bug is weak against fighting, flying, poison, ghost, steel, fire, and fairy. Uh, poison, well, strong against fighting, poison, grass, and fairy. Okay. Hey, there he is. Just walk right up to him. Just, just walk. Mm. So, do you remember in... Uh, you go to Team Rocket's base and have those conveyor belts. Oh, yeah. And like this invisible maze and The like, part that broke uh, Twitch Play's Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, all that is all lovingly here, and I don't know how I remembered it as a kid, but I just did. Yeah. Uh, let's, so I- Are you not gonna challenge you? Have you already- I have, I've already beaten them. I, okay. I wanted to show off and stunt on this quick look, but I didn't catch that one Rapidash, so I feel like I failed so, yeah, it's all- a complete failure. Yeah. Uh, I think let's go right here. No, I just went. Okay. There we go. Oh, God damn it. Is it down into the left? Oh, okay, there we go. No, it's this guy. Yeah, there you go. There we go. What's up, buddy? Oh. So there are fucking cutscenes. What do you think Koga sounds like? Naruto. I believe it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you do have the option to speed up text boxes, skip dialogues, get rid of sure. the battle effects if you just want to like get down to the nitty gritty of battling. But hey, it's it's fucking quaint. Look at that pose. 
God, this song is so good. Oh, wheezing. Okay. All right. I've always found Alakazam to be like a really big glass cannon. Yeah. Like, from the get-go, will do a lot of damage. Not so good at taking it. No, he was, yeah, he was always my point character. I would just like do as much damage with him, try and one oh, shot fuck. people. You kidding me? Dude, he just spirit bombed your ass. Well, if this is going by Dragon Ball rules too, then I'm completely fine because the spirit bomb is useless. Hey, it finished off, uh. I'm waiting. Who? Did it? Didn't they. Didn't they do a big spirit bomb on, on Planet Kai or something? It's been a, it's been a, it's <laughs> a, been a while. while. Um, well, we'll ask Jeff, Jeff after this. Yeah, yeah. We'll give him two weeks. Uh. I didn't catch who he was gonna send out. Let's throw out Gengar, because uh, I taught Gengar some psychic moves. Plus, Gengar's strong against poison, being a poison type itself. Ah, oh, muck. Great. All right. Ugh. This AI like seems smarter than the original Pokemon. I've Death never, I, I've never fought against a gym trainer that used a defensive spell. All right, cool. Never mind, that was not cool. Sucker Punch did not do a lot. Yo, that that muck just harnessed the power of the moon. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, he's made out of moon parts. Ah, uh, that's probably canon. Okay. All right, we're just we're just gonna try and power through this. Because Sucker Punch didn't do a lot of damage, but the Psychic, if I can land it. Okay, there we go. It will. Do. There we go. So far, no poison moves coming out from the Poison Master. He's probably saving it to the very end. Oh, yes, that is when poison is most effective. At the very end. I, we could already be poisoned now. Okay. Uh, so, like in the old traditional Pokemon games, you'll have a PP for every move, which I believe stands for Poke Points. Yeah, it was. Yes, maybe Power 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 Points. Power points. No, that's, no that's, that's something in Microsoft Office. I was never good at those. Um, but those just show you how many times you can do said move. Uh, you can use different items to affect that. All right, cool. We got through this guy. What do you think he's gonna throw it next? I'm gonna say, uh, what's the... Oh, he already did Wheezy, right? Oh, well, there it is. Venomoth. Uh, Venomoth is a bug. Yeah. Lit. We have Charizard. What moves do you have, Rapidash? Wow, that's much better than Ooh. what I have. Fire Spin, classic. You ever catch a shiny Pokemon in nope. any of the versions? No? Uh, the only one I played that had them was... They're in black, right? Yeah. They've yeah. been... I'm pretty sure they've been in every game since... At least Crystal? That sounds right. So I only played... I played blue, yellow, gold. Fuck. Damn. Okay, uh, and then about half of black. Okay. I like that it still has that weird Burning Man. Yep, Burning Man. Okay, all right. Just, just last. Uh, let's let's heal up. You never win a poker fight by healing. What are you doing? Uh, you can't just battle on and everything. That's how you got down to your only executor using struggle. You hey, gotta but heal. I won. Yeah, but think about how faster you could have won. No, dude, I used like all my shit, all my items. I was just under level. All right, well that was useless. We should have just I told attack. Um, he's pretty. He might actually die from this. Okay. Just to be safe. Let's switch to Charizard over here. His tunes are banging. All right, Ember isn't the strongest, but fuck it. All right. Rip. Down to his last one. Golbat. Golbat. Uh, 
I ate gold bats for breakfast. Oh, so you you know in the beginning of the game when you go to Mount Moon? Yeah. And how annoying it was to just get a bunch of zoomats? Oh, man. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Holy shit. You just fucking just dodge them. Can you mount your Pokemon inside of caves? Yes. Yes. Okay. You can pretty much mount them everywhere uh, that the space will allow you to. All right. Okay. Oh, hey, how do you feel about this? It's a, it's a great move. Thanks. Thanks, Golbat. Just want to punch you in your big mouth. All right. Come on. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, dude, he's gone. Where? Hmm. Let's, uh... You know what? I want Alakazam to get some XP from this battle. And he won't if he's knocked out. Just revive him. I've seen a lot of people hate on uh, XP sharing in Pokemon. I think it's fine. I think it's complete. Yeah, like you don't want to have to individually level every single. Like doing that thing with a Metapod in your team, where you would have it go out and then recall it and yeah. put in a real Pokemon. But it's just it takes up a lot of time. Yeah. All right, there we go. Ben, you were right. Not wearing that uh, Team Rocket shirt helped me out. <laughs> That's right. My style helped me win this battle. That's just like real life. Yeah. All right, we got a Here. soul badge. Take this this badge is my favorite get part the about being James. My house. There we go. Oh. All right. So trading, you can trade with uh, other people playing uh, Let's Go also. Um, and the tricks that happened back then of like, hey, I got to evolve this Haunter, I got to trade you one. Uh -huh. Still still in effect. How about... Um Pokemon Go integration, you said there was some of that, right? Yes, so that's actually why we're here in this city. Um, Damn, you thought of everything. I thought of everything. Let's uh, heal up real quick before we go over there. You ever mash on the A button so much that you wind up going again to the focus Center? Oh yeah. I fucking hate with that. Cause it, didn't it used to default on yet? There was something about it like just being on yes or something. I, yeah, would... I think that was it. See this ledge bed? Wow. This isn't this isn't Pokemon. So uh, I would say I'm about maybe 15-ish hours until I actually got here to Fuchsia City, and Fuchsia City is where you can actually, instead of the Safari Zone, you have the Go Park Complex. Okay. And uh, this is where you talk to, or can communicate with uh, Pokemon Go. So uh, let's bring a Pokemon. Uh, let's bring it to uh, Park One. So uh, you get the option to uh, communicate and connect to your Pokemon Go account. Uh, it's off camera right now, but I'm scrolling through my phone. Yeah, I see a lot of high level Pokemon. Yeah. Um, and you can only trade in uh, the original 150 Pokemon. You can't uh, tr bring in any thing from Johto or the later generations that are in Pokemon Go right now. Uh, let's, let's trade in this and that. And uh, it's one way trading. Okay. So as soon as you trade them away from Pokemon Go, they're gone forever from your mobile game. Oh. Um, huh. All right, cool, we just found my account. Would you like to receive Pokemon? Heck yes. And that was like, would you say a pretty fast like transfer? Yeah. Um, I've, I've read articles and seen people that may have had a lot of trouble con even connecting their Pokemon Go oh, account. Oh, bummer. Um, but yeah, so far I've had like a stable connection, even just using the Pokeball or connecting my Go account. Um, you want to see what I brought in? Yeah. I brought in two two Pokemon because I don't have a third one. Um, and just like the Safari Zone, this will drop you into. Uh, Get really dizzy after that. Yeah. Uh, huh. 
But you don't have limited steps? What? No, no. And there's no catching Safari Pokemon. Uh-uh. Uh, because, Man! But you know what's here? It's a fucking Moltres. Yeah, that's cool, but what, what? about Scyther? Well, I have a Scyther already, but look at the Zapdos. Yeah, but what about Nidoqueen? You're gonna put Nidoqueen over Zapdos. I mean, sure, it's cool that you can bring them in, but the Safari Zone was the coolest part of the game. Was it? Yeah, because it, it had limited steps, so you had to kind of like really carefully choose where you're going. I, you had no idea what was in there. But I you feel like throw, this... You got to throw rocks at Pokemon? That's fucked up. Why do you want to throw rocks at Pokemon? I had to like we already get... talked about punching horses. Why do you want to throw rocks at animals now? It helps catch them. All right, well, so you can bring in uh, your Pokemon from Pokemon Go, and you have to catch them here? Oh. Uh, Okay. But they won't run away. But you already caught them. I, yeah, but now I have to catch them again. Um, and uh, this kind of opens up a, because you would get a Master Ball in the OG games, mm -hmm. and you were supposed to save that for either Mewtwo or right. one of the legendary birds, because if they run away, they run away. It's over. Yeah. Since I've been playing Pokemon Go, I have five Zapdoses, <laughs> so, um, this is kind of circumventing that little stopgap from before. Yeah. Uh, that that Zapdos I could get later in the game, it's less legendary. Um, and I don't know, it kind of kills that vibe for me, and it kind of... It's just like, oh, another Zapdos, yeah. try again. Yep. Um, and uh, I guess it makes sense that we're pretty much at like the halfway point in the game, so that's when they'd give you the ability, because you don't want a fucking Zapdos right off the bat it would throw off the balance and everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's it's pretty neat that you can catch these guys that you've worked hard that in Pokemon cool. Go. That is cool. Like seeing your Pokemon Go efforts realized yeah. is pretty dope. Um, and you know, you're also gaining XP for these uh, instances of catching your own Pokemon. So, I don't know, maybe you could flood this park with a bunch of Pidgeys and just farm experience if you wanted to. Um, so let's return to the front desk. Uh, yep. We'll catch those guys another time. Sure. Future series coming to Giant Bomb. Uh, Don't I, say that. Oh, you're right. I, I'm not going to say it. Uh, I guess like the last thing I'd want to show off, besides being able to see the Pokemon, is like this Slowpoke. Can you ride a Slowpoke? If I had a Slowpoke, I'm pretty sure I could. There's a Growlithe. Um, you don't have a Slowpoke? I don't think I have a Slowpoke. I get my Pokemon inventory mixed up with Pokemon Go. Right. A lot. Um, but yeah, I just want to show off the hidden machines or how they're in this game, uh, secret techniques. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. Uh, secret techniques. Uh, so you'll have Chop Down, Sky Dash, which will be your substitute for Fly. Strong Push? I don't think you strength. had Strong str Strength. For, like move boulders. You're right. Uh, C Skip, C Skim will be Surf, and then Light Up will be Flash. Yeah. Um, and those do exactly what you remember them doing. Uh, there you go. Let's let's go let's go back home. Yeah, let's go let's see go Mr. Mime. No. No. What? No. No. I hate. You gotta no. say hi to your dad. We are not red or ash in this game. Look at that. Just fly, float away. Um, and yeah, this is <laughs> this is the fucking pallet town that I remember from back in the day. Go say hi to the professor. Okay. How much do you... Yes. He puts on a good face about it, but I bet it would fucking suck to be Professor Oak in that small-ass town. Because yeah. you're like a Pokemon genius, right? One of the foremost p Pokemon professionals in the world. You made the Pokedex. Yeah, and you're just here in this podunk town that doesn't even have a gym. Well, maybe those, those days are past him. Yeah. Like he's, It's like he's, retirement. Yeah. He's living through his grandson now. Like, his grandson's a douche. <laughs> yeah, I guess he has bigger things to worry about. Yeah. Um, like the, you know, trading the future. Uh, let's, I want to battle one more Pokemon just to show you a different special move my Pikachu learned, but all these guys battled already. Um, yeah, that, so this is a Let's Go Pikachu. Uh, Game Freak said they'll, they have a more serious game in development for the Switch. Sure. Um, but hey, like, I think this is a great entry. I think this is a, uh, a fantastic package if you want to relive your childhood. Yeah, honestly, this is hitting all the right nostalgia marks for me. Just 
Little touches like the fact that the Pokemon play that original sound clip from yep. the move. Yep. When they do the move. Like, of course, seeing all this stuff in HD is cool, but then there's just enough of that old stuff in there for me to really be interested in this in a way that I never thought I would. Even as somebody who didn't really fuck with a lot of Pokemon Go. Yeah. Uh, like, and I, oh, oops. Nope. Uh, I, nope. I ruin. That? Oh, God. Uh, hey. Yes. Uh, oh, what happened? Wow. Hey, Jan, what's this game? Sorry, I used Flash to lighten up the video again. Uh, but yeah, like, uh, also I think this is a great entry point uh, for like newer generations to get into Pokemon. Yeah, and I then, can totally see this being a lot of kids' first Pokemon game. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so uh, the game's 60 bucks. It's $100 if you want the edition that comes with the Pokeball Plus. Uh, it's an okay controller, Yeah. but if you play- Seems a little gimmicky. Yeah, it is. But if you play Pokemon Go a lot, uh, it does auto swipe stops, and you can actually catch Pokemon just from the Pokeball itself. You don't have to open up your phone. Oh wow! Uh, so that's neat. Uh, and I'd, I guess I'd recommend if you play Pokemon Go or want to get back into it, it uh, it helps power level you there. Yeah, Ben, I'm just gonna gonna go train to be a Pokemon master now. Yeah, I'm gonna go try and get whatever starters left over. All right. Thanks, Ben. <laughs>